Hi there. There's salt everywhere in front of me. That's better. Wait, it's hi there. I'm the great, the grand, the stunning, the beautiful, the gorgeous disgrace. And in today's video, I'm I found even more brass balls that I had in their original outfits. If you watched the last video where I had my brass balls in their original outfits, I guess part one we can call it. There were some that weren't featured. And then as I was going through my doll clothes, I found even more dolls. So I'm going to start off with one who was featured at the end of the video, but wasn't featured in the video. And that's Passion for Fashion, Wave 1, Yasmin here. I have her in her second outfit, which is a dress. Just her dress and her awesome shoes. Why is one of them silver and one of them gold? Did I put the wrong shoes on her? The sole's the same color, but I don't think the shoes are correct. Okay, so this one. All the other ones that came in the same line were featured, but he was not. Collector Cameron. I wish they had given us a Megan or a Dana instead of Cameron, like, or Fiona even. I don't understand why they went with Cameron. Yes, I know that's the name of... The name Cameron comes from one of Isaac Larian's sons. Well, he, I think he only has two kids. His name, Cameron is the name of his son, so it makes sense. But I would have preferred Dana, or Megan, or Fiona, or even Nevra. I want a Nevra comeback. 2020? I want to see Nevra. Okay, collector Cameron here. So handsome. Now, next up, I got 2015. Hello, my name is Cameron. Yo, what up? I didn't get a new body like the other girls. Same with Collector Cameron. He did also not get a new body. They just kept the boys with the same body, because I'm pretty sure this is the same body from 2003. Yeah, oh, 2002. This body is probably older than a lot of you viewers. Did they really change up the boys' bodies? Well, this one is 2003 and that one's 2002. So I guess they must have did something slightly different. Enough about Cameron. Enough about the boys. I will do a boys collection video because I have a couple of them, so. I got 2013 Yasmin, Chloe, 2013 Yasmin, Chloe, in most of her original outfit, but not her original shoes because I did not like how those shoes looked with this outfit. Felt like they needed bigger boots because her feet just look so tiny. But this tall body, her feet just look so tiny. So I put these boots on her. But yeah, original outfit still. The tall girls. I actually kind of like the tall girls. Then next up, I got an icon. She was the host of not one. Brass Tropic about to snatch my wig. But two cycles of Fierce Awakening. I got Tokyo Go Go Jade here in her original outfit. Well, she's missing that green thing that was up here, but she's mostly in her original outfit and original shoes, too. It's Nozomi. If I kind of want to do a new cycle of Fierce Awakening now, I have time off. I will be free to do Fierce Awakening. So, yeah, all. All of the DNTMs, just accept auditions now. I want to do something with Fierce Awakening. Something different. But anyway, here is... What is up with your hair? It feels hard. Let's just... Okay, there we go. This doesn't want to stay up. Anyways, it's Play Sports Skateboarding, Extreme Skateboarding, Leia. I feel like if I gave her bangs, she could look like Hannah Montana. You can't bounce on both worlds. When you're in quarantine, and that's all you've been watching. All I've been watching is Hannah Montana. Like, no lie. I think I'm on season three now. And then we got Walking Pets, Walking Dog, Walking Chloe. I don't have her dog. And you can't really take off her outfit, so. Yeah, even though you... Even though they gave you the option that you could 
redress her, you can't really take her pants off because, you know, the shoes are too big and they don't come off because of the wheels on the bottom. So yeah, she's stoked. And then next up, I got Study Abroad Sasha. She's wearing most of her first outfit, but this top is from her second outfit. Yeah, everything else, she, I don't have her hat. I don't know where it went. Yeah, I have, I think I have her original top somewhere. I think it's on another girl. And now the movie, Chloe. I did adjust her dress because I did not like how it, I don't know. I just thought it looked cuter like this. But yeah, she's practically in her original outfit. I just modified the dress a little bit. And like, there's no fraying whatsoever. So I like that too. I'm super cool, super hot, living like a rock star. You think I'm super? When the only songs you've been listening to are Hannah Montana, that's kind of... But the video mostly is just me playing Hannah Montana songs in my head. Okay. Next up from 2016, the last line we got before Collector, well the last, I guess you can say play line, was Instapet. It's Chloe here. I don't have her on her original body, but she's on in her original outfit, which is kind of cute. I do want more of these Instapets, girls. So I legitimately love the Instapets body. As you can see, Sophie's on it. Personally, before I started filming this, I'm wondering, like, is Sophie going to make an appearance in this video? Oh, look, she did. Faster than boys. I still don't know. I'm gonna move the premiere date up from the original date, which was August 14th, which was Sophie's 10 year anniversary of when she released her first ever single. <laughs> then I got Cowgirls Chloe Yasmin here. I was about to say Chloe. I do have Cowgirls Chloe, but I don't have her in her outfit. Cowgirls Yasmin. I used to have this girl when I was younger. I thought I was a hairstylist. So I cut most of her hair off because it was so bad. As you can see, I did this one much better when fixing up her hair. But yeah, I did that one so bad. She's so pretty though. The cowgirl's line is pretty fierce. I mean, the outfit, not a huge fan, but it's cute. Then next up, I got Bomo Funk Sasha in her original outfit. I don't think these are her original shoes. I think hers are like blue, but she came with shoes like this, so yeah. I have her hair up in a ponytail. I don't remember. I think I when I first got her, I had her in her original hairstyle, but it wasn't good. It's kind of bad. So I, had to, so I had to fix her up. Now next up, fashion designer Yasmin. I don't think these are her original shoes, but the outfit is her original outfit. Style is so fierce. Thank you, my friend, for finding her at the thrift store in her original outfit. She's so fierce. I want to go thrift shopping, but I bet all of them are closed right now. Liquor stores are still open, though. Next up, selfie snaps. Wave to Chloe. What is the stain on the back of her leg? I've never seen that before. The only thing I'm missing from her are her socks. Yeah, we have her cute emoji sweater dress. I love sweater dresses. I love sweaters in general. The big ones that you can wear as a dress, those are my favorite. I want a sweater dress. Selfie snaps. Wave to Chloe. I really do like this doll. I think she's pretty. For 2016, they were actually trying to fix some of the mishaps of 2015, but did not go over well. And the last girl is all glammed up designer streaks. Yasmin, I'm just mit she doesn't have her pants on. That's about it. So this is like a dress anyway, so it's good. Original shoes, original hair, which I fixed up. I love fixing doll hair. Like my cousin came in. My cousin came over yesterday and her Elsa's hair was like so bad, so I fixed it up and restyled it, and Elsa never looked better. It's all, yeah, just missing her pants, which are somewhere. So, yeah. 
yeah, these are all my other, even more of my Bratz dolls in their original outfits here. So fierce, so fierce, so slay wig is snatched. Anyways, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like, a beautifully written comment. Of course, hit that notification bell, and of course, subscribe for more future content. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone!